Black box. Now the guy's talking about the black box. It is. Okay. I have an associate at Georgetown, and he's sort of pseudo friends with the director of the FAA, and he learned that when the cockpit voice recorder from Flight 390 was originally played back, there was this uh, uh, fantastic noise. Heard it for a good five seconds after impact, and some people in the room described this as voices from the grave. Uh, and this was definitely not some technical glitch, because, because officials at the FAA, the NTSB, they listened to this again and again and again. They never heard it again. This guy is talking about, like, the plane crashing and the black box. <laughs> you. Uh, I, I, can, uh, I can explain. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm uh, Professor Miles Ballard, uh, Professor of Folklore and Mythology. Flight attendants, please prepare for takeoff. Buckle your seatbelt, sir. Uh -huh. Is that all you're going to do about it? I mean, I mean, we weren't going anyway. And, and you know, it was a choice between this plane and one other. Two others. I didn't think it would make any difference, guys. I wouldn't put anyone in jeopardy. I just wanted to see something. For once. Spartan 602, we're clear for any turns you've got for us. Uh, Elmer? What is it? Barbarian. He's afraid to fly. Just take deep breaths, Elmer. Most phobias are caused by a lack of control, but some people say if you meet the pilot, that might help alleviate... That's not it. There's something here. Harry Gremlin ripping up the wing. Honey, sit down. What happened? What, what is it? What did you see, child? Excuse me. Marion? No, 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 Marion. You go alone. Twilight Zone. What? Sit Serial number. This is it. It's the oven. Look, look. It passed inspection. It was installed on January 9th. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. The uh, oven flight 390 is on this plane. I gotta go look at it. Oh, calm down. If you draw any more attention to yourself, you're gonna be arrested. This could be a textbook case. After the crash of a 505, the Arthur Ford Academy in Miami. All right. They used psychometry to try and tap into the emotions trapped in the salvaged objects. Now, those results were seen as vague, but no tests were ever performed on any of the so-called reused objects. We have a chance, Mark, 
to directly link the, the spirits with an inanimate object, an inanimate object that is 25 feet away. Okay. 25 okay, feet my, away. Miles, we'll look into it. <sighs> happens all the time, you know. The survivors on Flight 390 reported a similar drop in altitude 16 minutes into their flight. Please, don't go anywhere. I'm going to check on Marion. I can hear inside the cockpit. Marion, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Where are you going, Professor? Oh, uh, just water. Uh, <clears throat> altitude kind of kind of gets to me. bother you for a, for a glass of water. Of course. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Funny how uh, language evolves, isn't it? I mean, uh, Galley used to refer to a medieval warship propelled by oars. And... Now, of course, unless you're talking about book galleys, it means, uh, it means an, an airline kitchen, huh? What are you doing? Uh, I'm getting the captain. No, 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 don't, 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 don't. I was told not to talk to you. Tandy, why? Huh? What's the airline trying to hide? Tandy? You've seen him, haven't you? Haven't you? see me? Please, tell me you can see me. I can see you. Okay, three nights ago, when I checked the number of passengers against my flight list, I counted one passenger too many. And then when I counted the passengers again, I saw a uniformed Spartan pilot sitting in coach. Huh. Look, I, I think this might be connected to... The reused parts? No, because of all the rumors they took out the oven from 390 months ago. That one's brand new. Well, are, are there any other salvage parts on the plane? No, I'm positive. We all are. We even had the ground crew check. You have to get out of here. Why? Ma'am? Is it, is it me, or is this volume control messed up? What's it doing? Don't tell Karen I talked to you. Incredibly loud. It's fine. I guess it's me. Folks, we're uh, experiencing a little routine turbulence up here. Nothing to worry about, but uh, we do want you to remain in your seats with your seatbelt fastened. And uh, please keep those aisles clear for our flight attendants. Thanks. It's riding rough back there, and there's no warning light. Thanks. Who 
could have used a heads up. Let's see what Ruth's got to say about this. St. Louis, Spartan 602 with you, flight level 31,000. We're experiencing uh, moderate to uh, serious turbulence up here. Uh, what are your ride reports? Uh, Roger, 602. We've had heavy traffic all night with no reported turbulence at 310. St. Louis, can we get higher? Roger, 602. Climb and maintain 350. Expedite your climb through 33. Up to uh, 35. Expedite through 33. Spartan 602. from Steve. Check two, see if it's running hot. All right. Your friend barged onto the flight deck. Do you know how serious that is? She's receiving. She's what? Quiet, please. Are you people listening? What she did is a violation of federal regulations. I have no choice but to alert authorities on the ground and have them arrest her. Hi, folks. Tell me who this woman is with. All of us. Now what's her name? Marion. Marion Kitt. Does Marion have any knowledge of aviation? Mm. She warned me that our number two engine is running hot, which it is. Any idea how she might have known about that? She also addressed me as Boo. That name was on the cockpit voice recorder. It's a nickname given to me by a former colleague. Steve Garcia, the pilot who died on 390. <laughs> All right, what's going on here, and who are you people? Marion, she's receiving a message from a colleague of yours. This young lady is sharing her corporeal body with someone who's unable to move beyond. You can't be serious. You know, I think Miles may be right. The reused parts from the downed airplane are keeping the victims trapped on this flight. Oh, would you explain it, Miles? No, there aren't any salvaged parts on this plane. Excuse me? That, I thought you told us... I know, but I was wrong. Don't ask me how I know, but I, I was wrong. Souls on board. Spartan 390. What did you say, Warren? Huh? You just said something about souls on board? <laughs> I'm listening to the cockpit, channel 11. Pretty cool, huh? Souls on board. Souls on board. Where have I heard that before? It's a term used by pilots referring to the number of passengers and crew. Nothing to do with ghosts. Reuse parts. Your friend knows something about the crash. Excuse me? Your late friend, Captain Garcia, harbors a secret. Steve Garcia was a fine pilot and a good friend of mine. Sometimes, when a person dies under unusual circumstances, the spirit can't accept the transition to death. What is it you're implying, sir? Perhaps your friend came back to right or wrong. Now listen. You keep her in her seat. That goes for the rest of you, too. 